The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapon. Look out for Charlie. Oh, I don't want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. My original intent for this video was to show that statistically, someone you know is being affected by weaponized RF. Whether that's mental health, overt, not so overt, somebody you know, whether it's you or somebody else, is being severely affected by weaponized RF. And get this, in the middle of me putting this video together, someone I know started a job at an apartment complex and their very first day someone comes down to the office a 60 year old woman who had been basically like dropped off by her sons and they moved out of state so she has no support system right she moves in and within a week of her moving in guess what happens people start talking to her through the vents she's terrified she wants to move out she wants these uh, she thinks it's the neighbors she thinks it's the neighbors upstairs talking through the vents at her so she writes this letter basically they jotted down a bunch of the stuff that this woman said as soon as she moved in she's reporting deviant vulgar behavior talking through the vents threaten me and keep me in fear I discovered the voices and constant movements in vents when a visitor from above said, Does she know we're here above my bed? Get that. So my whole point was to say, statistically, someone you know is being affected by weaponized RF, and that day somebody comes home saying, You're not going to believe this. I can't get this person in trouble you know, for giving me this information, but it's pretty nuts. And it would, I would say it's probably 35 miles from my house, 35, 40 miles from my house. And this is typical, no support system. But what she doesn't realize is she's trying to move out. And two, three weeks later, wherever she moves, it's just going to start up again because she's already sensitized to it. It's nuts, man. It is nuts. Here's a, a list. It says things done that she wrote. Things done. Vulgar talk. Sexual. Kept up for hours. Afraid since second or third day. No family here. Too many entrance points because she thinks it's people. Constant conversation and fear tactics. Done daily and all night. I have been sleeping somewhere else. I cannot stay here. This is crazy. This is happening more than you think. And just random searches that I did recently are pulling up these, these cases of weaponized RF. I was searching for something completely different that had nothing to do with any of this. And what pops up? British Columbia arsonist who believed Freemasons were using mind control sentenced to 40 months in prison because he went on a, a, an arson spree burning down uh, Masonic lodges, right? So this is everywhere. Someone you know is being affected by this. Now, statistically, let's look at the newest Missing Persons Mysteries video, which is uh, strange disappearances of people last seen running into the woods, which goes over, uh, what, six cases? Yeah, six cases of people going missing that just took off running into the woods. First case is Craig Freer, who went missing in 2004. And this guy's story is a little bit weird, took off running from his car into the woods. Then some kids ran into him out on these railroad tracks behind the woods, behind his girlfriend's apartment where he took off running. And he motioned for them to shh, to be quiet, like somebody was following him. Now, I don't know enough about this case. I can't prove it, but this is likely a targeting case. The second one is a guy named Jeremy Alex who went missing in uh, 2004 from Northport, Maine, right? So 
He was 28 years old. Totally normal. Getting ready to move in with his girlfriend. His mom and his dad come out to visit. He's totally fine. Within uh, 24 hours after his parents left, he goes over to the place where him and his girlfriend are moving in together. He's acting all weird and tells his girlfriend that bad people are out to get him, right? And goes off running off into the forest, right? And guess what? No one ever sees him again. This I have studied before. This is 100% a targeting case. Jeremy Alex is a targeting case. There's one that is probable, another that's for sure. Out of six, I have researched these types of cases and the red flags that go with them long enough and hard enough to know when one of these cases are a weaponized RF case that I would bet just about anything on it. Willie Hodge, there's not a lot of information about him. He's just kind of like a dude that was in a lot of trouble. He got pulled over by the cops and took off running. So this one can't say either way. It, it looks a little suspicious, but there's no red flags. There's nothing to other than him taking off and running, which people do when they're pulled over by the cops. You know, so there's really no serious red flags that we can nail down. So this one I can't say for sure one way or another. Terrence Woods Jr. was a uh, an employee of Vice. You know, the people that do videos on YouTube. And he got this job going around and doing all these shoots. His co-workers said that he was acting really strange and had a mental breakdown, right, over the couple days before, which his parents are, like, totally against. This case has been studied and studied and studied. Right when they were in the middle of shooting, on, like, the second, third day after his mental breakdown... He took off running to get away from these people. He's 100% a targeting case. He's been totally affected by weaponized RF. The next case is Lars Matank. I've covered this case before. This guy uh, was from Germany. He was traveling with his friends. And he got in a fight where his eardrum was injured. And his friends could fly. He couldn't. He had to stay behind. Once he stayed behind, he had no support system. He was a traveler by himself. Suddenly in the hotel, he was attacked with weaponized RF, thought people were out to get him, right? Then he's in the airport after his mom convinced him to just get on the plane. He's in the airport and freaks out and says, I don't want to die here and takes off running and no one ever sees him again. I've studied this case up and down. This is 100% a weaponized radio frequency case, 100%. And the last case, Dennis Shepard, 46 years old, 46, totally normal, jockey kind of guy, personal trainer, that kind of dude, allegedly had a sudden onset of paranoia, thinking everybody in the FBI were out to get him. Get that. And he went running off, and was never seen again. When you study this case, it is 100% a targeting case. So let's think about this. Let's not count the uh, Craig Freer that I'm not 100% sure about. That it looks like a targeting case, but I can't say for sure because I haven't studied the case enough. That without him, 66.6% .6 of the cases are weaponized RF cases. 666 .6. If you include Craig Freer, that's 83.3% are targeting cases of just random people who went running into the woods and vanished. Think about that. The percentage of people that are being affected by weaponized RF is absolutely through the roof. People do not just turn 46 and then suddenly start hearing voices. All right, people do not do that. Even the worst schizophrenics 30 years ago didn't hear voices. Very, very few. That was like the most hardcore schizophrenic symptom you could possibly have was hearing voices. And suddenly people turn 46 and start hearing voices with no other signs of mental illness. People are 28 coming down with mental illness out of nowhere, you know. Terrence Woods, totally normal his whole life, goes taking off running. 
you know, it is one case after another. And if you look these cases up, so many people are being affected and they're saying different things. You know, they, they thought aliens were coming. They thought they were living in the matrix. They thought uh, the FBI was out to get them. They thought this. They thought that. It's always just a Mad Lib, take out and insert script and drive the person to do something totally crazy. And it just keeps going and going and going. And at this point, someone you know is being affected by this in one way or another. Whether it's causing a little bipolar or causing people to run off doing crazy shit, they are being affected by it. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. Oh, man. I like this kid. This fucking guy's crazy. Look out for Charlie. Charlie, I want that son of a bitch bitch. I want him dead.